A lot of weather information to dive into here in this next three minutes, so let's get into it. Gusty winds still expected for tomorrow, and there's two outcomes. We could either have light breezy winds or the potential of some damaging winds. We were talking about these odds yesterday, and right now we have about a 60% chance of having those damaging wind gusts. It's not going to last terribly long, but it will be around midday on Christmas Eve and then calming down into the afternoon. It's all due to a low pressure system that's actually kicking up the waves. In fact, we've had about seven to eight foot waves along the Oregon coast today, but that's increasing upwards of 20 feet for tomorrow. And again, we still are expecting snow showers to continue into the Cascades. So if you are driving for Christmas, just be aware that you will encounter some snow over the passes early in the morning for tomorrow as well as Christmas. And the passes are also going to be dealing with this wind as well. All right, we have this warm front passing over the region right now. That started to move in around 7, 8 o'clock this morning, bringing very, very light rainfall. And this is typical for warm fronts. They don't usually produce heavy precipitation. Well, as this warm front passes, it's going to continue to allow this low pressure system to advance north. This is our weather maker, and this is the one we are watching. It's right off the coast of California right now, but it is intensifying. And the thing about this low pressure system is it's expected to bottom out, meaning peak intensity right over I-5. That means the chance of some pretty gusty winds, but not necessarily the rain. So tomorrow we are expecting some pretty decent rainfall amounts toward the Oregon coast, but as far as inland areas, it's not going to be much. It's going to be the wind that's going to be the main factor. Overnight tonight, we're back down to about 41 degrees. Now it's a little bit more milder up toward Diamond Lake due to this warm front. Highs tomorrow will get back into the 50s as a result of this warm front. But watch as we're tracking this area of low pressure offshore. Warm front passes and eventually it starts to tick a little bit closer toward the Oregon coast tomorrow morning. These are thunderstorms for areas of Florence, Bandon, Coos Bay. That's where the rain's going to be focused. But as this low pressure system kind of spins, you can see right here, that's going to kick up the wind speed. So this is kind of what we're expecting right now. It's about a 60-40 chance with a 60% chance of us seeing those damaging winds. If the low pressure rides right along the Oregon coast, we're talking about some pretty significant issues for tomorrow. There's your timeline right there. This is the best case scenario, only a 40% chance, but it could very well be this tomorrow. Low pressure rides along the Cascades and we could be dealing with no issues whatsoever. This is that 60% chance. You can see gusty winds tomorrow around 10 o'clock. Canyonville, 50 to 60 mile per hour wind gusts. Then across areas of Eugene, 40 to 50 by lunchtime. Passes up toward the Salem area. You can see potential wind gusts up toward around 50 to 60 miles per hour, even across the Portland area. So again, we're going to be watching this very closely, but we do have that weather alert day in place for Wednesday. Scattered showers expected on Thursday and Friday across the Willamette Valley. But notice the weekend, calmer conditions, temperatures likely back into the 40s, so a little bit of a chill factor, but areas of the Oregon coast, gusty winds as well. Temperatures likely remaining in the 50s across areas of the Umpqua. You can see temperatures likely sitting at about 53 on Wednesday. Partly cloudy skies heading into Saturday and Sunday. Coming up, we'll take a closer look at the odds of the week.